In this video, I'm going to show you how to rearrange your objects, changing which objects are in front of and which objects are behind. So when you create an object, then new objects gets created on the very top of this layer. Imagine it like you're cutting out pieces of paper and stacking them on top of each other. So I'm going to select this object and I'm going to create some duplicates. And so every new duplicate is going to appear on top of the prior ones. And so the newest thing always shows on top. If I want to change the arrangement of them, uh, there are a couple ways to go about this. The first way that I'm going to show you is if I come to the layers palette, so we can see over here the uh, little stacked layers, we can see that my layer has comes with its own dropdown and showing everything that exists on this layer. And as I bring that dropdown, you can see that I have my various polygons that have been made and I just gave them a generic name since I didn't name them. And it's showing me right now I'm selecting this polygon, uh, the topmost polygon, it has a double circled. As I click on different objects, you can see that it's showing me which one I'm grabbing. And so in Illustrator, you can easily come up with tons of objects and get very busy. So it's good to start getting used to looking at this to understand what things are on top of what things. So just like Photoshop, if I want to have something show behind, I could just drag this lower in the layer palette than the other ones. So we can see that originally it was on top of, but now it's behind. And so I can do this with the other objects and kind of rearrange them so that it shows in the way that I want. Another way to do this is that if I right click or command click onto an object, we can come down here to arrange. And we can see that we have a couple of different ways that we can arrange this. We can bring it to the front, so all the way to the top. We can bring it forward, so just one more step in front of the last thing. We can send it backwards, so one step behind, or we can send it to the back, so all the way to the bottom. And we can see that its quick keys are command and then the bracket keys to move it either forward or backwards. And if we want to move it all the way to the top, uh, front or back, we can use command and then shift and then the bracket keys. So command being the swirly and shift being the little up arrow. So I can do this manually uh, or I can use the quick keys. Personally, I like trying to learn the quick keys because I think that um, is a little bit quicker. So I have this object selected and I am going to start moving it forward. And we can see that in the layers palette it's moving, but also in the picture. So I'm just using the bracket keys and it's just jumping forward in line what is on top and what is on bottom. And I can move multiple things at once. Remember, we can select multiple objects. And as I move that pair of objects, they will move together uh, in, uh, in the line. Something else to keep in mind is that just like Photoshop, I can have different layers. So I could create a new layer altogether. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to create this rectangle and let's give it a slightly different color shall we there we go it will be black and white so bland um and we can see that on this layer i have um i have this rectangle and if i move this entire layer beneath my blue layer so my layer where all of these guys exist, we can see that it is always behind all of the objects there, or it is in front of all of the objects there. And so even if I try to bring this to the very top, so I'm going to right click, come to arrange, and tell it to bring it to the front, it brings it to the very front, but it only brings it to the very front of that layer. So keep in mind these like kind of these multiple layers uh, that you're putting together. One layer is on top of the other layer. And then uh, within that layer, they have their own hierarchy uh, uh, of what things are on top of each other. So, uh, so you can peel these apart by going to the drop down and kind of checking which ones are which, or by just kind of playing around with it. So that is restructuring and rearranging um, where things are.